Right, uh, since I've got five minutes, I thought I'd take the head off of this. Let's see what we can find. And we already um, got a lot of water coming out of it. Why you always leave a couple of bolts in there? If you were doing this properly, always clean around, brush all the dirt and dust away, otherwise it's going to get in there. Um, and you take the uh, capillaries, you disconnect those as well. And I think this one. Rust in there. Rust on the valves. Some rust inside there. All full of rust inside the head. Um, just little locating pins and a little piece of rubber under there. That's your um, suction valves, and then your discharge ones are here. The, the gas goes through it, pushes them open. And these ones, as the pistons go down, they suck. They get sucked open. As they come back up, the gas pressure. Um, yeah, they get sucked open that way. And as the gas pressure comes up, they get. And they're spring loaded too. They snap shut. Uh, let's see if we can get them off of there. the locating pin that's got it that's the discharge valves the gas comes up, pushes them open. That's why the gas goes in through the suction valves. Yep, so that's all full of water. It's even gone green, it must be out of the um, 
don't know, they might have had a leak die in there, or it could be, could be copper oxide, I suppose, from the pipework. It's a shame because apart from that it does look in very good nick really.